here we go again guys, I've just been for coffee and it, I, I knew there was something wrong, I just needed that extra caffeine in me and, uh, and, and I needed to go to the toilet, so here we go, I'm going to do my best to preach the lost and dying world, the gospel of Jesus Christ. God bless you all, I have come here to tell you that God loves you and I have come here to tell you how simple it is for you to be saved with everlasting life and granted a place in heaven and escape the damnation of hell. There's nothing you need to do to get saved except one thing only, and that is believe on the one who did it all, the Lord Jesus Christ. For all have sinned, the Bible says all have sinned and fall short of from the glory of God, and that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which he wants to give you, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everybody that believes, no matter who you are, no matter what you have done, this is available to everybody. God wants to give you his free gift of everlasting life. And you only have to receive it by faith, by believing the gospel that Jesus was indeed sacrificed on that cross for all our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried and he was risen risen to, to life on the third day according to the scriptures that's the blessed gospel and by believing it truly in your hearts and calling upon Jesus you will be saved sealed sanctified and justified with everlasting life, heaven bound and rapture ready. The rapture is when the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first and then all, all believers which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. I can't wait. I can't wait to leave this world in the rapture when Jesus snatches me up to heaven with all other believers and all little children and babies. And then on this world will start what Jesus described as the great tribulation period. Daniel's 70th week. Jacob's trouble. Seven years when God shall pour out his wrath and his judgments upon an unbelieving, unrepenting world which has turned its back on the living God. So let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord. Return unto the Lord and unto our God for he will abundantly pardon. Lay hold of your salvation. Please take one. Yes, yes. It doesn't matter what you've done. Jesus will welcome you with open arms. He's only asking one thing of your heart, and that is, will you receive my gift, my free gift of everlasting life? And that comes by believing the gospel. Gospel means good news, that there is indeed everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, for everybody that believes. Believe the gospel and you will be saved. Reject the Lord Jesus Christ and you could end up in hell. This is how serious it is. This lifetime is but for a moment. Eternity is forever. Make sure of your eternal security therefore and believe the gospel. Because I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You might be, but I'm not. For it is the power of God unto salvation for everybody that believes. No matter who you are, no matter what you have done, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be a whosoever, because I'm telling you time is running out. We are heading for the apocalypse. First, the Lord Jesus shall snatch all believers up into heaven in the rapture, and then the great tribulation will begin. When this one world leader forms a one world government system and he does away with cash and he causes everybody to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, some sort of digital ID, and you won't be able to buy or sell anything without it. You won't be able to enter the shop unless you have the mark of the beast in your right hand or in your forehead. But if you take it, you are sealing your fate and you'll be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. Please, 
You don't even have to be here for what is coming upon this world if you will but lay hold of your salvation by believing the truth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. There are many paths in this life that seem right to men, but the ends thereof are of destruction. Only Jesus Christ will get you to heaven. All other pathways lead down to hell, into outer darkness, where there is weeping and wailing and grinding of teeth, where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out, and all who reject the love of the truth, all who reject the Lord Jesus Christ, will spend eternity there. Repent! Change your mind and believe the gospel while you still have breath in you. Before it's too late, before you find yourself st stood before a holy and just God, well, kneeling before his throne, giving an account of what you have done with your life. And if you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ in your life to have paid the penalty for all your sin, you will not be granted access into heaven. And instead you find yourself in hell, in outer darkness, weeping and wailing for eternity. And you have the choice. You can either accept or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I pray you would be wise. Be wise. Wake up as well. Wake up and look around the world what's happening. It's so evident that we are in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming and then all hell is going to break loose. And you don't want to be here for what is coming upon this world. I'm telling you, it's going to be so, so serious. A war, the likes of which this world has never witnessed before, will break forth. You think about how advanced that their weaponry is now compared to World War II. You just think the devastation that is going to be caused by a nuclear war. This is written in the Bible, there will be wars. And there will be famine, there will be pestilence, there will be starvation and death during the great tribulation apocalypse period which the church is not appointed for. The church is not included in the great tribulation. Only those who have rejected the Lord Jesus will be left behind to face the great tribulation, apocalypse, antichrist period. When God is going to pour out his wrath and his judgments upon this world which has turned its back on him. Yet the Bible says that God is not far from each and every one of us. And if you shall seek the Lord while he may be found, and call upon him while he is near, and let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord and unto our God, for he will abundantly pardon. He will welcome you with open arms on one condition, one condition only, and that is that you believe the good news of Jesus Christ, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which he wants to give you, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. If anyone says that he has no sin, he deceives himself, and the truth is not in him. If we say that we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar, and no liar shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. So get on board the ark of salvation. This world is dying. It's being destroyed. Can't you see, look around the world at what's happening? Unprecedented flooding. Hail the size of golf balls, shattering car windscreens. Fires raging all over the world. From, from Russia to Spain to France to California, the world is burning. It's falling. And you need to get on the lifeboat, which is Jesus Christ. Get on board the ark of salvation by doing one thing. One thing only, and that is believing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That Jesus paid the penalty in full on the cross 
for all our sin, our lifetime of sin when you believe. And he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the blessed gospel. And if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. If you shall confess Jesus as Lord and believe it in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved, sealed, sanctified, justified, heaven bound and rapture ready when the Lord Jesus raptures all believers up into heaven. But Jesus gave a stark warning. He said, except you repent, you will all likewise perish. Many people just laugh it off and think it's all a big joke. People are mocking and scoffing. They think their lives are all a big joke. But I'm here to tell you, your life is not a joke. You are greatly loved by God. You are formed in the image of God. And you're special. And God wants to give you his free gift of everlasting life, no matter what you have done. Jesus has promised that he will never turn anybody away who comes to him. So turn to him now, because I'm telling you, the crap is about to hit the fan. This world is about to be turned upside down. Immediately after the rapture, when Jesus takes all believers up into heaven, this world is going to be turned upside down during the great tribulation apocalypse period. You don't want to be here for what's coming upon this world. And you don't have to be, if you will, but believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For there is no other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. You must get saved because the Bible tells us that we've all broken God's commandments, we've all sinned, and we all fall short of the glory of God. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. That means the eternal separation from God in outer darkness in hell, weeping and wailing for eternity. But the free gift of God, which according to God's word he wants to give everyone, is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For everyone that believes, no matter what you have done, turn to the Lord Jesus. Don't mock, don't scoff. These are the words from the, from the living word, the Holy Bible. And it says that God wants all to be saved. And you must be saved. You must get saved. You, you won't enter into heaven unless you first get saved. You're saved by doing nothing other than believing the gospel of the Lord Jesus. You don't earn your salvation by being good. You cannot pay a price for it. For by God's grace are we saved through our faith and that not of ourselves it is the free gift of God not by our own good works lest any man should boast Ephesians 2 8 and 9 explain that perfectly that salvation is a gift not something we earn and God wants to give it to you and it's down to you to receive it by faith by believing the good news that there is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody that believes and it doesn't matter what you have done even if you had committed murder and, com and murdered 50 men and then a, a year later you realize that the gospel is true that Jesus died for that person on the cross and rose again from the dead that person would be saved for great is the mercy of the Lord. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works. Return unto the Lord your God by believing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ or you will end up in hell. Right, um, I'm getting into it now, so... I'll just upload this one and carry on.